Today I am going to start with a new concept of this uh, of a protein which is uh, created by uh, Allah and uh, given to all uh, uh, of his creatures like uh, animals, unicellular organisms, bacteria, uh, plants and fishes like that and it was actually uh, was found in biochemistry and uh, molecular biology that uh, this molecule is a protein in our body and this is the most important uh, defense protein in our body its name is alpha 2 macroglobulin in short it is said that it we can uh, call it a2m this molecule actually was found uh, about 0.6 billion years ago in all creatures and um, unfortunately uh, it was not uh, uh, found that this molecule is the main uh, protecting molecule for all the <coughs> living creatures in in the world and i like to convey about this uh, uh, me the message that uh, we can include this protein in the innate immune system and in innate immune system <coughs> it was uh, so far, it was uh, shown that uh, when a, a microorganisms, microorganism can enter into the body, then uh, it activates all the systems like coagulation system, complement systems, and all the cellular uh, uh, activations. And then gradually, it was shown that the how those uh, activation in the body can affect our uh, normal physiological condition and then uh, uh, it was shown that gradually we became sick or uh, the uh, system actually shows the different kind of symptoms and of the diseases and after that uh, we are actually going behind the um, treatment uh, but my concept is when if you can prevent any uh, kind of diseases uh, to start that is the main concern of the immune system so this protein uh, is just like a policeman and it it is like it is there for every time and in all uh, living uh, creations uh, they are just guarding uh, the body and keeping the body in physiological conditions there is no other disease starts uh, because of this protein clears up a, a chemical which is secreted by the microorganisms. This chemical is known as protease. And this protease is uh, very important because of its name is protease because it cleaves the protein. So protein is the one which actually is present in our outer surface as well as inner surface. and uh, when this uh, chemical is secreted by microorganisms, uh, this uh, pro protease actually helps the microorganisms to go inside the body. Once they go inside the body, then they start uh, to uh, 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 generate their uh, many other proteins and uh, many other organisms by uh, di uh, the replication of their uh, uh, species. So what happens is if the chemical, the, uh, what the microorganism use this chemical uh, protease, uh, if it is taken out or cleared out from the body, so microorganisms cannot go inside the body or uh, the protease is neutralized. So th that is the normal function of alpha-2 macroglobulin and that concept is not yet in the world. and. My, the biochemistry and the proteas uh, separately uh, many studies was done and it was done like uh, 40 50 years ago but uh, it is not known that this protein could be a fundamental of our immune system so i'd like to just uh, introduce this concept that we can include in innate immune system uh, this protein which can clear uh, uh, proteases.
when we use this protein uh, uh, as a preventive medicine like uh, polio or DPT, uh, uh, we use the uh, drops of the medicine to prevent the uh, diseases like that. If this protein can be introduced to our uh, preventive medicine and then uh, if we can check that this protein is uh, the level of this protein, how much uh, uh, any person has this protein level and at the same time with the protease levels also we can check at the beginning. And my um, uh, intention is to see uh, that when uh, the patient is very uh, sick and with the many other uh, treatments like uh, say for example in the cancer therapy or in HIV infection or in the liver cirrhosis or in a, any type of chronic infections like uh, say for example diabetes, hypertension like that type of uh, diseases um, we have to check this uh, concentration of alpha 2 microglobulin as well as uh, the proteases because the proteases are involved in almost all the diseases and I have recently published one paper online and we, I have described it about the involvement of proteases uh, in which uh, the proteases are involved in many diseases so wherever the proteases are, are involved alpha 2 macroglobulin should be thought uh, to prevent these diseases. The chronic illness it is like the patients who are suffering from diseases for long time and many kind of uh, treatments uh, was tried to cure his diseases. At that stage I like to uh, advise to check alpha 2 macroglobulin and proteases in, in his body and uh, <clears throat> the concept of the measurement of these proteases and alpha 2 macroglobulin was is not introduced in the medicine so far so in chronic diseases is the main focus like uh, tuberculosis diabetes hypertension hiv or in uh, any kind of chronic diseases this concept came from uh, animal research what I have done in Japan uh, and I have found that in guinea pigs and rats I used um, the model and uh, to, to establish this concept when we um, made these animals as a septic shock model and I, we introduced bacteria inside the body and continuously I measured their blood pressure and I kept the animals to see that how long the septic shock occurs and then I measured all the biochemical uh, changes especially the alpha 2 microglobin level and also the proteases. I used uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa uh, as a gram negative bacteria. I introduced it in the uh, abdomen just to mimic a septic shock model and when I saw that animals uh, blood pressure was falling just before death about 45 minutes before the death I introduced this alpha 2 microglobulin inside the body and miraculously they survived and they survived like uh, normal animals so I thought that um, if we uh, give the animals before I introduce the bacteria uh, to the body. So I injected this uh, purified alpha 2 macroglobulin, human alpha 2 macroglobulin and I raised their concentration like 150 percent and after that I introduced the bacteria inside their body and what I found that uh, not a single animal died that was miracle and again I also tried another way that the when I depleted out alpha 2 macroglobulin from the body by using antibodies alpha 2 macroglobulin antibodies so they took out alpha 2 macroglobulin from the body 
about two hours and at that time I injected a proteus and immediately they died so the injection dose was like one hundredth of a concentration that actually uh, is very lethal for the animal so when alpha 2 macroglobulin was not there animal died with one hundredth of concentration of proteas that causes the shock and kills the animal so this actually proved that this molecule is so important and uh, not only septic shock this molecule this protein actually carries uh, different kind of toxins from our, in our body and that's growth factor interleukins and many other uh, toxins which causes the activation of many many uh, uh, systems in our body that are very harmful like in cardio cardiovascular diseases like heart attacks stroke something like that and also like in cancer uh, so they are actually very harmful for the body and alpha 2 macroglobulin actually takes out all these toxins from the body so this is very important molecule to measure it during the diseases and also we have to measure what kind of proteases are there there are 500 types of proteases so far we know and we don't know what proteases are causing the diseases that's why I like to introduce this concept in the world my name is Mohammed Munir Hussain Khan I am from Bangladesh and I was graduated uh, MBBS in 1983 and then I worked in our in a, a hospital in our country capital city hospital and then I actually <clears throat> got a scholarship to Japan I worked in Kumamoto University Hospital and Department of Immunology and Pathology and then I got my PhD uh, in Molecular Pathology uh, in 1993. After that I worked as a faculty in the same university. And one year after I, I came to United States uh, in 1994 and I was in University of Pennsylvania uh, and also Temple University and University of Delaware in chemical engineering. I actually introduced uh, uh, different kind of uh, biocompatibility of uh, proteases and also alpha 2 macroglobulin in different kind of devices. Then I work in the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and, and I also work in Case Western Reserve University and Cleveland Clinic where I work with antiphospholipid syndrome in recurrent pregnancy loss and I have published uh, 33 publications so far and I like to uh, contribute more uh, in the field of medicine and uh, now I am working as a professor in one uh, foundation in Bangladesh its name is Biomark Bangladesh Foundation I like to uh, work more on this uh, project I like to uh, start a, a crowd uh, funding uh, uh, project and uh, if I can get uh, some fundings like uh, my goal is like $50,000 and um, that will help me to get patients uh, blood and plasma and hospital facilities in Bangladesh and also um, I like to uh, get um, the, uh, the, uh, the help from the different kind of hospitals multi uh, center hospital I hope you enjoyed this concept and I like to continue on this project and you will be definitely with me and uh, help me to progress on this project. Thank you.